What's going on, YouTube? Fine, it's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of the Baltimore Way, man. I appreciate the love and support. I've been seeing all the comments, man. I be working. I'm gonna get to y'all one by one. I'm gonna get to all the ideas. I appreciate it. Y'all know what I need y'all to do. Be sure to like, comment, share the video. Let's get right into it. So tonight we're gonna talk about Kevin Lyles. Kevin Lyles was born February 27, 1968 in Baltimore, Maryland. During Kevin's younger years, he attended Woodlawn High School in the county of West Baltimore. Lyles was raised by his mother, Alberta Fennel, who worked as an accountant, and his stepfather, Jerome Fennel, who was a railroad conductor. After graduation, Kevin attended college at Morgan State University. He majored in engineering after being accepted on an electrical engineering scholarship from NASA. But Kevin left the program prior to graduating in order to pursue his music career. Kevin stepped on the music scene in 1986 as a member of the Baltimore-based DJ crew, Numerous, where the group co-wrote Girl You Know Is True, which was first recorded by the group, but later became a massive first hit for duo Millie Vanilli. Lyles continued to work his way up in the music industry working with some of the entertainers greats and eventually would become president of Def Jam, who was killing the game in the 90s and early 2000s. Kevin was also executive vice president of the Island Def Jam Music Group. This time frame was between 1999 to 2004. Soon after Lyles would continue his success and served as vice president for Warner Music Group, working with industry tycoon Leo Cohen, before stepping down to pursue other opportunities and entrepreneurial endeavors. In September 2009, also that same year, Kevin launched New York City-based KWL Enterprises. Around about 2012, he co-founded 300 Entertainment with Leo, Roger Gold, and Todd Moskovich, which had some of the hottest new talents up to date. During the course of his success, Kevin did find time to marry Erica Lyles and have three daughters and also a son. Kevin is a big figure in helping and giving back to the community, serving as co-chair for the New Yorkers for Children Gala and his own organization in his hometown of Baltimore called the Kevin Lyles for a Better Baltimore Foundation, where he gives out book bags and back-to-school items, talk to students, and much more. Kevin is also an established author, writing the book Make It Happen, The Hip Hop Generation Guide to Success, and has been in a few movies. Kevin even has a street named after him in his hometown of Baltimore, which much, with much success and drive, helping his community and finding new ways to trendset, Kevin Lyles is a Baltimore legend, working with stars such as Jay-Z, Mariah Carey, LL Cool J, Kanye West, Trey Songz, just to name a few. Kevin is known as an excellent brand ambassador and an ultimate hustler. Okay, man. Y'all already know, man. Kevin Lyles, he definitely a hip-hop staple. He been around for a minute. He been in the game for a long time. And I like what he done during the course of his career. He started out writing music. He even recorded a few tracks. But he figured out he wouldn't mind being behind the scenes. And I feel like sometimes that's super dope because you ain't always got to be in front of the camera. A lot of people don't know the people behind the scenes, they make big money. Like a lot of A&Rs, a lot of uh, producers, uh, beat makers, people like that that you really don't hear about. They got the bag for real. But for a long time, I ain't even know Kevin was from Baltimore, to tell you the truth. He grew up like in the Woodlawn area. For y'all that don't know, that's West Baltimore County. You know, he went to Woodlawn High School where he graduated. He went to Morgan State. He didn't graduate. You know, he left school early to pursue his music career, and it worked out for him. Now, if y'all don't know, back in the earlier days, Millie Vanilli, that was the group who got caught lip singing before it was cool to lip sing. So their career kind of went downhill. But that girl, you know, is true. That was a major hit. Like, that was like a club banger back in the days. So, yeah, Kevin went from label to label to start his own label. You know, he just basically worked his way up the food chain and he got close to the big names in music, such as Leo and people like that. Y'all know Leo, he pretty much run the music industry. So him coming from Baltimore, Maryland, 
and getting that kind of success is super dope. And recently, not too long ago, when Freddie Gray got hit up, him, Carmelo, and a few other people went back to the city and they was protesting with the people. They was walking through the streets of Baltimore and I feel like that's super dope because you don't want to be out of reach with your community. You want to be able to be touched and seen. That's how you make the kids believe that they can do something in the future. When they see you and they can visually see you and talk to you and touch you, then they know it's possible. You can talk all that from far away, but if they can't physically be around you, they not going to believe what you're talking about. So, yeah, his foundation in Baltimore, man, they give away book bags, uh, back-to-school items. You know, he go to the school, he talk to the kids. Like I said, he got a book he wrote where basically he writing a blueprint in the book, How to Be Successful in Hip Hop. So for all you people out there that rap, all you singers, you feel me? Even if you want to be a video girl, whatever, he telling you how to navigate through the game and get money. And I mean, ain't, ain't nothing more he really can do. He did everything he possibly could do to stay relevant in this game. All these years later, you got to think he stepped on the scene in 86. I was born in 87. I'm 34 years old. I just turned 34. So that's 35 years in the game. If you can't consider him a legend, then I don't know what the, the meaning of legend is. And plus, he from the city, man, like I say. So, yeah, and he helped a lot of people get on. And he's still helping people. Like 300 Entertainment, if y'all hear a lot of new up-and-coming rappers, they signed to 300. If you hear about a lot of people, they ask them who they signed to, they say 300. So now everybody can know this Kevin Lyles in them, this Leo in them. I ain't even know that for a minute. Like, a lot of people don't know who be behind these labels. We just hear somebody sign, and we feel like, oh, he on, he got a deal, he got money now. But you got to do your homework and see who behind these labels. And like uh, a lot of people say, you got to make sure it's the right situation for you. You feel me? So, yeah, man, I just want to salute Kevin Lyles, man. He definitely a Baltimore legend, man. And, you know, this is a requested video. I found out a lot of information doing this video, man. That's why I like doing these, because I learn stuff, too. But y'all know, man, I appreciate the love and support. I'm going to get to all the comments. I'm going to get to all the requested videos. I don't want nobody to feel left out. I'm working, fam. Like, I'm working. I'm grinding. So I got y'all. Y'all already know, man, if you're new to the fam, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell. Fam, y'all know what I need y'all to do. Be sure to share the videos. Like, comment, help push this series so we can get the city out there so people can know what we about and who we are. You feel me? I appreciate the love and support always. This is another episode of the Baltimore Way. This is the Kevin Lyle story. Love, fam. Huh?